Bianca en um, ik wil heel graag weer een leuk kort model met een leuk kleurtje erin. Ik heb genoeg van het lange haar. Ja, wil je een rondje draaien? Ja. Bianca wants to have uh, short hairstyle. She wants a new color. She is allergic to color, so we're going to work with uh, highlights in her hair. But it will certainly give her a new trendy short hairstyle. Mooi rondje. Thank you very much. Alsjeblieft. <laughs> Hello friends on YouTube, can't do Bianca's hair. Now she modeled before, it's a long time ago. Yeah. I told you she's allergic to colors, so that I know. But I start with the coloring and in the video you see me starting with cutting. So when you want to see how I color her hair, you go to the end, uh, to the, uh, end of the video halfway. So I set the time of that into this part of the video and then you can see where the coloring starts. So if you want to see that first and then the cut, you can go to that. Start with putting on protection and then you see me starting cutting. Okay, starting on the cut. For those uh, who see the video, the coloring of her hair is uh, half ways, but I told you I set a line where you can find that also on that. Uh, light it up her hair, putting on protection, knowing that there is still an old color in her hair. And I put a toner in her hair to reduce a lot of the red colors that are still in. So now I'm going to start on the cut. Put on a nice cape. Get rid of a lot of hair. There I start with. <laughs> Makes life a lot easier. So for those who tell me always you're butchering, Okay, let's butcher. You see, the most light colors are on top. Take the hairs in the opposite lines of the long line that are going to be at the front. Take them on the tail. Take my hot razor. Turner, so you can see what I'm doing. Take them in the tail. Watch at the line of the skull. And go over to the side that will be a little bit longer, but certainly not in the necklines. The nice thing about the hot razor is that it doesn't damage the hair. So this is all the hair that came off. Can you fast that one? No, hoor op de grond. Ik heb er genoeg van. Flots. Okay, let's start on the cut. Part myself a line, just above the fall of the skull. Watch all the small highlights that are in her hair, and watch at the beautiful roundings of her skull. Set on some glasses. Watch the beautiful ears. She has beautiful ears. Go in. Take this line. Keeping all the lines nice, soft. No hard lines in this hairstyle. Just gentle. The nice thing of the hot razor is that you don't feel uh, the cutting because it goes that nicely, just suits the hair by going through the hair with the heat. This tool is about uh, 190 degrees Celsius, so that's a lot. And for those who want to get this tool, you find it on uh, ergo.com. Don't lay it on the skin, of course. And you see, when you keep the roundings in natural roundings, you have always a good shape. On the center, it goes straight down.
take some hair from the top on it. Pipe myself a line from the center of the skull till behind the ears. Set the hair aside, turn it so you can see this. When I get on the rounding of the skull, I take the hairs up in the rounding of the skull also, so I lay the hairs in the natural fall, just follow the natural lines. And when you see that red light burning, you know your tool is hot and connected to the energy, so you know it's working. Also this side will be nice, soft, overflowing into the neckline. Control the line, see how wonderful the highlights lay on top of it. Now I go to the front again. Take the hairs up on the ear. Lay them to the front. Go in a bit higher because I can Create a bit jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Ik zat even vast in ja, de. Ja, Take the hairs up in the natural rounding. Again, like I always do. Watch at the roundings of the skull. Always use them. I really love to see the shapes of somebody's skull and the lines of the face. This part will be a bit short. Also to give the other side a bit dramatic effect. You see I used less uh, highlights on this side and I used more on the other side. Take out my clip. Take the longer side over this side. Lay them on the line of cutting on the ear. So use the line I already produced to create the natural shape again. And watch how the chin lines will walk over. So I use the same lines as the chin lines. You can see this on the fall of the hairs. Take a new line on it, work till I get no hair to this side. From the other side, you can heel on the coffee there. Yeah. Leuk. And when you get your first grey hairs, it's also nice to put some highlights into it because then you don't have to color it that much. And they adopt those gray lines in your hair. And when you use a no yellow product, you always get a nice color. On the ear, I go to the back again. So take this hair to here. And then I go into the rounding. Watch again at the chin line. And just lay the hairs on the skull bone. This is the skull bone. Use this to give more power to the hair. I'll show you from the front that I took the hairs from here to there. So now I lay them over to the other side. I sit here fast in the draad. I sat here on the draad. Oh yeah, exactly. Take from the center of the skull a line till behind the ears, in front of the side and clip it away. And come to this part. Whoop. Knowing I want to lay on chin line with the lines. But behind the ear, I don't want to have that much hair because it's always in the way. And when she wants to wear the hairs behind the ear, 
there's always too much volume in this part of the skull. So I reduce the weight of the hairs behind the ears. Still reducing all the natural shapes. So you see, the more I take off, the better the fall will be. Because it gets into the running. <laughs> That's something about throat. It's not corona. Still, we don't need protection in the Netherlands for our uh, face, just for our hands. Now we may not kiss. It's a shame. Yeah. So now I have my line. You see, my line is laying here, and it's on the chin line. So now I can. Take this out, put up her top, take the hairs to the back, watch at the natural lines again, point my fingers on the line of cutting and go gently to the front. When you work with the hot uh, tool, the hairs will be sealed for more than four months and when you have natural hair, mostly it can be six months, so the hair will certainly grow and grow and grow and you don't have split ends for a long time. So it's very nice to touch your own hair, but also for somebody who touches your hair, the hair will, will be certainly very sexy to feel. Lay the hairs in the natural shapes, go on the part behind the ear, connect that also to the line. So you see, I take this line, this rounding. Take this rounding again. So you see how wonderful this falls into that natural rounding. Then take the hairs to the back again. Lay your fingers in the same line again. And work the line out. Adapt the lines a bit by thinning it out on the parts where I think it's too thick. There's only this part, so this line, it's a bit too thick. So I take away a little bit of the weight out there. Watch the fall of the side beard, it's mostly a bit straighter. So just take a tip off there. Now go to the top. Get on the Look. Go into the top, go on the center of the skull, just behind the fontanelle, twist the hairs to the side and see that jump out so I know there is my line and give it a slight effect to the top. This creates a little bit jumpy effect on the back to be aware that you take the natural roundness of the skull and go in in a straight line to only take the tip of the hairs. Watch if they jump out. Now I'm ready with my cut. With my normal feather knife I clean the neckline because when I do this with this she will certainly run out <laughs> and do something to me now she never will. So I do this with the normal feather knife. Wet the hairs a bit, take my Kiona feather knife, lay the hairs in the natural lines, just softly creating that wonderful line. With my not protected blade, take off the small hairs in the neckline. Don't force it on my skin, knowing that she has a sensitive skin. Just gently lay it on the skin. Take away the small hairs. So 
it's not a dry hair. Now to reduce the yellow tones and to reduce the red tones, I take uh, of attitude a no yellow spray. It makes life a lot easier for a hairdresser but also for the customers because uh, the, the silver shampoos and the silver conditioners mostly damage your hair a bit. Especially when there are old people on the front of it. You can see them, then you know there's mostly ammonia into the product and then you have always damage to your hair. It's actually very lekker. Mm -hmm. She told me in Dutch it smells very nice. It does. And it works very nice because when you see it on your fingers you see that the violet tones are all over it. And now in Corona time when we do our hands with alcohol it stays on the hands also. I blow dry it with uh, my Kiona blow dryer and only with the use of my fingers. So far blow drying. I'm going to use a clay product. Use a little bit clay product. This is a wonderful product uh, of Glint. It's an old factor 3, so it's not too hard. I don't use too much of this. Just this amount. Just set it on my fingers. And just bring it on, on the roots of the hair. When you use a product like this, you don't have to use a lot of hairspray, so it makes also much nicer hair. And it gives a lot of volume to the hairs. I love how the colors are in the hair. Even the rest over of the old color is still wonderful. Thank you for watching. I thank Bianca for being my model. I hope you, to see you on the next video. She will do it so you see the end result. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Now it's nice warm in Holland, so I put on the cape and we need that a towel because otherwise it's getting too hot. This is a protection for coloring. Gonna work with points. Gonna make her a nice asymmetrical picture with a little, little bit front length and the back will be certainly nice short. And I will make use of every rounding of her skull. Start by applying the color. Make the highlights in about two and a half centimeters above the ear. This is my first start line. Beneath that, I don't do anything. Leave it dark. Put on my own protection and I wet the hair a bit so it makes parting a little bit more easy to do. Yeah. No. And the first lines have a little bit more light color than the rest. Just to give that sexy effect.
going for my first foil. There it has. On the foil. Oh, I was <laughs> there it has on the foil. Bringing the bleach. Knowing that a lot of the color that's still in the length, that's a color that's all natural lines, so don't know what happened with that, but I certainly can correct that. Don't have to set in all the length because I don't need all the length. This I bend back. Leave it like parts line. That's laying. In front of that, right over the hair, get myself a new parting line. Go to work on that. So I do all the hair. Those lines are a little bit more in small lines because otherwise it's getting too much. Normaal heb je ook iemand bij en die is dan netjes voor je voor. Ja. Dat heb ik nou niet. Weet hij is on plank again. Die gaat hier vlijen. Start on top because there I want to light the skull up and that's why I start on top. Stay about a centimeter away from the skin because I know she's allergic so I don't want to touch the skin. Make a photo of the bleach I use into the video. So do all I have. Okay now I have all the foils on her hair. So we're leaving this way. I told you it's very hot. The ends that's sticking out are the ends of this part, but they will be gone after the cut. So I took over a little bit the asymmetrical hairstyle and put little highlights on this side and very light ones on that side because there is the dramatic effect afterwards. So we've got coffee tea, wait until you see the end result by styling. <laughs> 